intersection. Juice in both? No. Ham? No. Fish? Fish. Is that the only thing that's in the intersection? Okay, so notice this list. This is a list of items, okay, that's in what? Both G and H. Okay? So the word and is at play here. It has to be in the G and H list. That's in the intersection. It's where they cross. It's where they meet. Okay, contrast that definition with another definition of uh, not intersection but union. We'll talk about the union here. We're giving you the cocktail party language of this stuff. And that's the symbol that we use for union. Okay? Now, when you think of union, what do you guys think of? Oh, <laughs> all the romantics in the room, right? Marriage. Nice. <laughs> a, a union, what else? What else do you think of when you think of the word union? What's that? The Soviet. the Soviet Union. But what does that mean, Soviet Union? It's a, it's what, what's together. All those states, all those different territories that they what? Conquered and just took. They put together. Is that right? So you put these things together. Anybody else familiar with uh, the word union and how that feels? How does that feel? Or what does that mean, though, when you form a union at work? Yeah. All, yeah, you fight. <laughs> well, uh, fight, that's a very good question. You unite together, you fight. I, you know, I used to be the president of the faculty union on this campus. And I spent, yeah, a lot of time, and it's not fighting, it's, what is it? discussing, it's, it's exchanging ideas, and sometimes people are just so different in their ideas, and sometimes there's agendas that it does become a little, you know, heated at times, you know? So, I don't know, fighting, it's, it's defending yourself. I think that's always good to be able to defend yourself, defend the faculty and whatever, okay? So, when you're talking about a teacher's union like you described, what that is, is essentially every teacher now bands together, they're united under one umbrella. We put them all together, and they're more powerful together than they are what? Alone. That's the premise behind any union. Doesn't matter what union it is. You band them together, they're now more powerful because it's, they're not separate, they're not one. So you're going to now unite, put together, and marry sets. Okay? You guys are with me on that? It's not so hard, right? No? Let's see. Who's getting married? Yowzi, you're getting married? Not yet. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't pick anybody. No. You get, Moshe, you getting married? Not yet, right? Not for a long time. Long time. Let's see. Um, hmm, let's... G. Whose name starts with a G? Gina. What does Gina bring to the marriage? You know, like Gina, maybe Gina, Gina has what? Maybe she has a bed, okay, what else? A sofa, she has a television, what else does she have? <laughs> she has bills, because she likes to shop. What else does Gina have, huh? She brings her clothes. She has her car she's bringing to the marriage, right? What else is she bringing? Oh, yeah, she, you guys say this, this stuff. I'm not saying it. This isn't my list. She's bringing issues? Oh, I hope not. She's bringing, uh, she's bringing the kids? Is that right? You shouldn't call that baggage. That's not baggage. Kids are wonderful. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. When they start growing up and talking back and arguing and fighting, then it's like, oh. See, Ashley's at that age now where, I don't know, you know, I tell her one week, no shopping, all right? I bought you, uh, okay, so what if it's, what, St. Patrick's Day, you need to have green outfits? All right, fine. You'll get only one. She ends up with, what, two. I said, don't ask me for clothes again for a long time. What does she do the very next week? Dad, I need some clothes. So kids can start to be what? No, they're not baggage. Kids can start to be a little work. They're cute when they're small. They're adorable. Oh, they're great. Love kids. But then they start growing up, and what's the story? Mm. You, I know Moshi doesn't do that stuff. I know he doesn't. I know he, he doesn't do any of that stuff. That's good. All right, what else does she bring? Maybe she brings what? Uh, she brings her mom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or probably her dad, right? Did she bring her dad? No, she brings, Gina brings her dad. She doesn't bring her mom. Maybe Henry. Henry brings his what? Mom. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hear all the ladies go nuts whenever you, uh, I've been giving this list forever, and you always hear women, <gasps> when you say they're bringing mom. That's a bad sign, right? Oh. All right, what else does Henry bring? <laughs> he brings the money. <laughs> he brings a car. Well, no, he brings, uh, maybe, let's say, maybe he brings his big screen TV, his PlayStation, <laughs> his Nintendo, his Wii. <laughs> What else does he bring? He brings a couch, or no, oh, yeah, he brings a couch, I guess, and sofa. He brings, uh, that's it, okay? That's all he brings. <laughs> oh, oh eh. Oh, his microwave, good. <laughs> he brings his microwave. So we're going to do this. We're going to form the union between G and H. Forming the union means what? Putting everything together. So start with what Gina has. A bed, sofa, television, bills, clothes, car, kids, dad. And Henry brings his what? Mom. He brings his money. He brings a television. PlayStation. The Wii. Sofa. What's that? Ah, you guys notice something here, okay? I put all these items on the same list. Is that true? But here's the story. Items that are listed twice are redundant. In other words, they don't need what? Two sofas. One is enough. 